I'm here on step 71 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design's third project, Learn CSS Colors by Building a Set of Colored Markers. So we just created that um, a div with the class sleeve. If we look back to our index.html file, and we can see um, right here, we have that sleeve class, and it's inside of the marker class. So we're going to make a sleeve for our marker. So to target a class, we do period, and then the name of the class, so sleeve. And then we're going to do... A curly brace and then another one on the end and then on the inside we're going to set the width to 110 pixels and then the height to 25 pixels okay so now we're going to give that a color and we're going to set that background color to white and now we can see that's where the div actually is Okay, so we clearly don't want half of our marker or so to disappear. So we actually can change um, how transparent or opaque our, um, our element is. And so if something is completely opaque, you cannot see inside of it at all. And if it's not opaque at all, it's completely transparent. So we want something in the middle. And so the values we can set for um, opacity or opa opacity, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how to say it, um, could be um, zero for zero percent, and it can go all the way up to 1.0. Um, we're going to do something in the middle, so we're just going to set opacity and then to 0 0.5. You actually don't need that leading zero if you don't want it. It's the same thing, but we'll just keep it there so it's clear. And there, there you can see now it's half transparent. We can see the what's behind it, but not completely. Okay, um, and so. There's actually another way that we can set the opacity um, and without using this um, opacity right here. Um, and instead we can, without that opacity property. And so we're just gonna delete it so that we can go on to the, the, the next method. So this is really similar to RGB, except we just add this alpha value, which you can think of just the same as that opa um, opacity where it goes from zero to 1.0. So um, we're just going to set, instead, instead of just saying we want white, we can just use RGB to say white um, or to um, show that we want white as the value for the background color property. And then we can set the alpha value to something, um, to the opacity that we want, and we can save ourselves some CSS. So we just write RGBA. And if you remember, white is... Um, the presence of all colors to the full. So we're going to do 255 for red, 255 for green, and 255 for blue. And then we want 0 0.5 for the alpha. And look, it looks exactly the same as what we had before, but we just did it in a slightly different way. So next, um, it'd be, um, it just says, oh, the sleeve is looking good, but maybe if it was a little bit more to the right side of the marker, it would look even better. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add this cap class inside of a div. And so we're going to just do class equals cap. And there we go. So now we can target this cap class with dot cap. And we want it to have some height and width. So we're going to set width to 60 pixels and then height 20 pix 25 pixels. And you can see it doesn't look like how we want it to quite yet, but we'll fix it. So the issue right here is that the default display property, so there's some inherent CSS that kind of comes along with some HTML elements. And so one that comes along with the div is um, the display property is set to the value of block. And when there's two blocks that are next to each other, so if we go back to our index.html, we have this um, cap sleeve towards the, left on the inside of marker and then we have sleeve that comes after it what's happening here is because the display is set to block they're actually stacking on top of each other so we can't see one of them we can easily fix this by targeting both cap and sleeve and uh, setting their display to inline block which means they'll be in the same line but they won't overlap and so that line is where the marker is and so all we have to do is target both of these so if we just do target the cap and then if we want to target also sleeve we do comma space dot sleeve and then inside of our curly braces, we can set display to inline block. And there we go. Okay. 
And so we learned a little bit about borders um, in the previous project when we were dealing with the HR, that that line that went across. We wanted them to be a little thicker. We wanted, um, and so we changed the border. So we can just we just want to change the left border of the sleeve, which is this transparent portion. And so all we have to do is set the border left width. And we're going to set that to 10 pixels. So now we have some border. The issue is um, we don't, the border is not really displayed in the color. So we have to um, say we want the border left style to be solid. If I can spell style correctly with the T. And there we go. We can see that border is actually showing up at this point because we have set that um, style. And we're done with step 80.